Okay, I'm Gideon Rachman from the Financial Times, and I've just uh, finished moderating a session on historic complexity featuring three historians. And it's the kind of session I think that Davos is particularly useful for because, of course, there are all sorts of discussions on issues of the day, whether they're economic or scientific or political, but you also have really interesting minds, professors from all over the world, and I particularly enjoy the ones where you can take a slightly more abstract look. And what we did today was to look at different versions, different ways of studying history. We had um, a professor called David Christian, who is a pioneer of something that he calls big history, which almost takes mankind out of history, looks at history as it unfolded over millennia and that big environmental and technological changes. We had uh, Jim Glick, who's a specialist in technology, who argues that the things that have really changed history haven't been so much men as different technological breakthroughs. For example, he talked about the invention of the telegraph in the 19th century and then about how computers and computerization is changing history today. And we had Professor H.W. Brands, uh, who's at the University of Texas and a man who's been consulted by uh, President Obama, among others, on more recent and more, if you like, conventional history. He's written history, histories of biographies of Franklin Roosevelt and of Teddy Roosevelt and histories of financial crises. And it was, I thought, a fascinating discussion because it showed how different perspectives on the past can illuminate the present. And I think just the kind of thing that Davos is particularly good at.